Hi guys, this is going to be a haul. Now this makeup haul is going to be crazy because I have got so much stuff here that I've collected. Um, I might even split it up into two, but if not, grab yourselves a very, 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 very large drink because this could take a while. Um, I was actually going to try and just sort it into bits and pieces, but you know what? Hell no, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> God, this is crazy. Um, looking at this stash now I'm thinking what the hell was I thinking if you know what I mean but whatever let's just um god that's bad I'm actually missing a lipstick and I can't find it which is really irritating me but mm. I really don't know where it's gone um, but I'll tell you about that when I get to it Anyway, this is going to be a makeup haul. There is Superdrug, there's Poundland, there's Primark. Um, quite a lot from Primark, actually. Um, yeah, so there's, there's there's a lot. I'm going to start with the palettes first because they're the big things. This is what I've been trying to get my hands on for absolutely ever. It's the I Heart Makeup range and it's the Naked Chocolate. So many people I know have got this. I've got the other two, the um, I Heart Chocolate and Death by Chocolate. But this is the one... Oh, that I really really wanted and my super drug has only just got these in so um oh, it's just oh god it's heavenly look at that look at the colors in there it is just the most heavenly heavenly palette this shimmery sort of oh god golds and there's bronzes and there's like true gold um oh, I mean, let's show you some swatches on there can you see them oh just beautiful i absolutely love this palette and i'm so glad that i picked it up so that's the first one i will do reviews swatches and stuff on this you know if you really want them um but we shall see oh, is this actually recording oh, my... there you go i don't know if it is but hey ho um so yeah that's that one and then I got the, I know I've, I've lost another, I've, I've lost one of these as well. I've got so much stuff in this bedroom, you wouldn't believe it. But this is also I Heart Makeup, and this is the I Heart Obsession range, and this one is West End Girls. Um, and it's just beautiful. What can I say? It's beautiful. Those are the colours. I just love this little I Heart thing on here. But this has got, also got a true, true gold. Um, and it's got the most gorgeous magical purple in it um, olivey green oh I just love it I have um, actually wanted to get the I Heart Colt one which um, Vinny, the lovely Vinny from Little Miss Style, Style Guru's got but they hadn't got that one in because that was the most popular one so I picked that one up as well um, two MUA palettes these are the two new ones this is the Rhapsody palette and the Amour palette um, and they look like, let me just show you, I'll actually get a brush in here as well, but brush isn't all that. Um, so that's the first one. Now these are two sort of like primers, creams or whatever. Then you've got all these eyeshadows and then you've got all these eyeshadows. Now these are oh, just the most gorgeous colours ever. That is the most gorgeous taupe. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and um, yeah, so that's the Rhapsody palette. So there, Rhapsody palette, and the other one is the Amour palette, which again, they're quite difficult to open. Oh God, come on. Please open. Oh, there you go. This is the little brush that you get with it, which I'm not quite sure what it's all about, but it's like a little eyebrow brush actually. Um, so yeah but it's quite hard very hard quite good for eyebrows though i would have thought but i probably won't use it um again this is the amour palette and this one this shimmery here is more of the um rosy gold type thing um which i will do a swatch there i don't know if you can see it there it is um again you've got two creams this side and all the rest are eyeshadows but they're beautiful i love them so that's that one um, then I got the Natural Glow uh, Shadow and Primer Palette 2 from Barry M. I think I've already got the original one of these and 
it's just gorgeous just the most norm, uh, natural sort of sort of palette and this is a primer uh, which you can't really see it's like a clear primer but it's quite nice it's quite a nice primer um, but you've just got the most gorgeous colours in there you've got I think the first three are mattes and the last three are shimmers so these three here are mattes and these three are shimmers it's got a nice little mirror in it and yeah I like that so I haven't used that one yet but I have used it but not a lot and I also got the Flor Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit from Barry M which again just looks like this you've got the highlight bronzer contour which as you can see is just simple steps but I like that and this is the last sort of palette thing that I got and this is the new collection contour kit this is amazing do you know this is better than the sleek one um that's what it looks like this is the light one this is actually better than the sleek one um you've got a lovely sort of contour bronzing shade and a beautiful highlight there you go that's what they look like um there so that's those two and yeah this is really really cool really nice it's like slightly powdery on the um contouring side but it's amazing i'm not going to spend too long on all these bits and pieces if you want to see sort of like closer up reviews or whatever on any of these products just comment in the uh comment bar below um and yeah i'll do that for you right so the next things are foundations so i picked up um another staple foundation and one I was running out so I picked it up and that's the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 25 hour I picked that one up in soft beige because Rimmel is my colour I've nearly nearly oh I've got about that much left in my old Rimmel one and I love this for flawless coverage um it's, it's just amazing um so yeah I like that one so I picked that one up and I also picked up one that I haven't had for ages um which I also really really like and that's the Rimmel Wake Me Up and I also got that in soft beige I love this. It's it's got the most tiniest minute glitter particles in it, but they they're just amazing. Um, it really does brighten your face up and make you glowy and healthy looking. And yeah, so I picked that one up as well. I also picked up the brand new foundation drops by Gosh. Um, my color is 04. Um, I have actually tried this once already. But it didn't work out very well the first time I tried it. Um, you have to really give it a good shake. It comes with a little sort of dropper, which you can see. Um, yeah, it's weird, actually. It's strange, sort of. It's very sort of watery, which that's what it looks like there. Um, rubbed in, see it's gone. Um, yeah, it's very watery. I really have to give it a good shake up, but um, I know I've seen Lisa's um, Lisa's Spaces Number One Girl. I've seen her review on this. She quite likes it, but I've got to play around with it a bit first because I put it over um, a primer and it just I don't know, it went really really streaky. So maybe you use this without a primer. I don't know. It's all a matter of trial and error. And I also picked up the um, liquid foundation from Primark. Um, I got mine in medium again this is a really really nice foundation um, just put it there oh, the light was way too light for me but this is the medium and yeah it just blends away and you can see it's got a nice sort of glowy sheery glow to it it does dry quite matte and it does dry and set really quickly so really sort of be cautious when you're applying this one again if you go and have a look at Vinny little miss style guru she's just done a get ready with me um with the primark stuff that she bought um and yeah it, it looked really good actually it looks really good but um again i've got to try and play around with that one a bit oh <sighs> then i've got a face powder just my sort of normal i've got about three of these but i've put two of them away this is my go-to face powder the Manhattan one I love this stuff absolutely love it just looks like that um, you can use this wet or dry um, it's just got the most sort of amazing coverage to it um, it blots it takes down shine it's just amazing um, so I picked that up 
And then from Pound World, I think this was, I got the Pure BB Mineral um, BB Base from Maybelline. Um, I got this in light, as you can see there. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I'll uh, give you a little swatch. Show you what it looks like. It is very light, but this is what I would use under my foundation if I'm having a really, really bad foundation day or face day. Just rub it in and yeah, it disappears to nothing. It's got quite good coverage on it, but yeah, I picked up two of those because you never know when you need BB cream. I think that's all the foundations. Yes, it is, I do believe. Um, and then the rest of it is just like eye pencils, lip pencils, mascaras, highlighters, um, lip lavas, eyebrow setting gels, and blushes and lipsticks. Oh, God, the lipsticks are amazing. Um, so, let's go for... Where's my other blusher from? There it is. So the two blushes I got are from uh, Miss Beauty from Pound World. This is quite a good makeup brand actually, very good makeup brand. Um, packaging, I like that, it comes in like a little sort of eyeshadow pot. Um, this is the first one, beautiful, beautiful colour. This one is Cupcake, and it's just like a really sort of light pink, I don't know if you can see that. Cupcake there, very sort of naturally pink colour. I really, really like that. And then I got toffee, which is a little darker, more sort of for the fall. Um, toffee. I'll put toffee next to cupcake, and you can see it. Toffee slightly darker. Um, so I picked them up. They're rather nice. Um, then I got some highlighters from Primark which um, look like this so I've got a gold one and a pink one I'll give you quick swatches swatches of those let me just I don't know why I'm shaking it up but um, it comes with a little sort of doe applicator and you've got the gold one and I should put the pink one next to it um, yeah these leave quite a nice shimmer So that's those two and you basically put them in put them dab them and then rub them in um, and they leave like a nice glow on your skin so I picked those two up I think they're one pound fifty each I'm not sure uh, mascara I think I only have one at the moment Most of it is pencils. So the mascara that I picked up was the Essence Lash Mania Waterproof. Um, tried this a couple of times. Yeah, it's okay. It's got quite a nice um, bristly sort of wand on it. And it's waterproof, which I love at the moment because I have weepy eyes. So I picked it up as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, let's see what else we've got. Then eyeshadows, I picked up two from um, Primark, two from Poundland and one from Boots. So the two I picked up from Primark are just gorgeous. And these are the baked wet and dry eyeshadows. So this one I've got is in gold <laughs> and it's beautiful. So shimmery and so glittery and just absolutely gorgeous. So that is the gold. It would make a fantastic highlighter as well. Um, and I also got brown. I do believe these are the two that Vinnie picked up as well. This has got like greeny particles and gold particles in it. It says it's brown, but oh, it's just beautiful. That was literally one swipe. These are gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. So that's those two. Uh, the two I got from Poundland are Dusky Rose and Vintage Rose. And these are beautiful as well. They come in a little package like this. Um, so this is the Vintage Rose, which I cannot get to open to save my life. There you go. And that is very similar to the one I got from um, 
boots actually but this is vintage rose that's what vintage rose looks like these are a swatch i mean they're not overly pigmented these ones but they are just pretty see it's even got purpley flecks in it it's coming out purple on the camera but it's not it's rosy um and also i got um a dusky rose which is slightly lighter um and it's dusky rose yeah that's lighter these two would actually look beautiful together so that's those two um and the one i picked up from 17 i love the little catch on this you press it and it just undoes and this is rose quartz i'm really into rosy colors at the moment i don't know why but this is rose quartz and it's beautiful in fact all three of these would go well together so that's rose quartz so that's the eyeshadows single eyeshadows that i bought clean the hand off um then i picked up one oof, two three four Excuse me while I am um, going mad here. Um, I think this one. Is that all my eye? Yeah. So this is what I got from <laughs> Brow Wise. Um, I picked up another one of the uh, light brown or light um, PS Love Primark pencils. I love this because it's got the spoolie on the end, the proper little spoolie on the end. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I love those ones, but they're some. My favourite, favourite, favourite um, eyebrow pencil has got to be MUA. So when MUA have these in stock, I go mad and I buy loads because these are only a pound each, guys. And this is the perfect eye colour for me. Um, I love them, and so I always have them in stock. Then I also picked up. Keep losing stuff i tell you it's just a nightmare oh there it is um these are on three for two from l'oreal and i've seen so many people using these on um, youtube that i thought i'd go and pick them up um, and these are the brow artist plumper um things from l'oreal and i've got one dark and two light um, because they were three for two and I, they're just amazing actually they're really really nice little um See if I can get the colour. There's the colour of that one, which is the one I'm sort of setting my brows with at the moment. And I think this is the dark one. Um, yeah, this is the darker one. And that's the dark one. But the little brush itself is just amazing and it's just right to sort of get in your brows. So I picked three of those up as well. Um, and the ultimate. Oh no, hang on, let me do this one first. This is the two true. Is it too true? Yeah. Too true brow fix. And one side is the brow gel and the other side is the highlighter. So I'll show you the brow gel first and the tiny little brush that comes with it. So that's the tiny little brush that's on one end and that's the sort of colour you've got in the brow gel. It's not brilliant, but you know. And then you've got the highlighter at the other end, which is a really amazing highlighter actually. And that's the highlight at the other end. Again, you could use this here. You could use it on the inner corner of your eye. Um, but it's just like a really nice little travel sort of kit um, for your eyes. And then the surprise of the Century from Pound World, their beauty range. Um, their, what is it called? Miss Beauty or something. Um, is their eyebrow pencils. I absolutely love this eyebrow pencil and since i bought these two every time i go in there <laughs> they've not got it in um because i was going to stock up on these because these are amazing this is the number two blonde eyebrow pencil and it just comes like that just a normal little pencil um with the it's just the right sort of ashy brown for me and it's amazing this is what i use under the gel and it's just the right colour. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's not too waxy. It's just nice. 
Um, and again, pound each. So crazy. Crazy, crazy. Then I got some eye pencils from um, PS Love. Now let's do this. They came in a pack of two, which is amazing. So the first ones I got were a sort of brown and a grey. Um, so let me just do quick swatches of those. They're quite soft as well for something that's just a... So that's the brown and the grey. Really quite nice. And then you also get a pack of two black ones, which will just give you one swatch of that, because we all know what black eyeliner looks like. Um, like I said, they're quite soft. They're not too scratchy, so that's quite nice. Uh, then I got some packs of NYC pencils from Pound Well, I do believe. And I've got two packs of those. If I could find the other ones, that would be ideal. Ah, oh, here we go. One, two... So you get a midnight blue, a brown, and I think that's a purple. Yeah. So they come like this, and you get three. So you get a blue, uh, sort of purpley colour, and a brown. Um, and it was three for a pound in Poundland, so I got two of those. Just eye pencils, so you never know when you're going to need them. This I also got from Poundland, I think. And this is Maybelline's Big Eyeliner, and you get, oh, it's double-ended, so you get the white eyeliner one side, and the black eyeliner the other, so they're quite nice, and it's quite chunky as well, so it's not um, too sort of scratchy on your eyes, so I picked that one up for a pound, that was cool. Um, Eyeliner-wise, again, I picked up from Pound World, the Barry M Super Soft matte eye crayon in green oh, you guys know I love green this is so soft and it's so green, it's beautiful I love that, so I picked up that as well then also I picked up this from Pound World as well, and this is the NYC City Proof 24 Hour in black again, absolutely beautiful very very soft very very nice indeed and I love the way these oh satisfying click don't we all like the satisfying click then I picked up these from MUA and these are the new eyeliners one in matte and one in wet look um, yeah not bad not bad at all I like these I'm not very good with eyeliner but I like them oh crap turn it up the wrong way so it's got like the solid sort of felt tip pen type thing on there. Is this the white look one? No, this is the matte one. So that's the matte and it really does dry down matte. It's amazing. Let that dry down. So that's the matte one. Um, and this is the wet look one. And when they're dry, I can show you that they dry as they say they're going to. So that's the wet look one. And I'll let them dry. That's them there. I'll let them dry and then you can see. Um, I think, possibly, that's all the eye pencils. And the rest are lip products. And hell, have I got a lot of them. Like I said, I've lost one. I can't find it, but um, I have got hell of a lot. Uh, so, yeah, right, they're dry now. So you can see that this one here has dried totally matte. Not shiny at all. And this one is dry, and as you can see, it's sparkling, and it's all wet look. So that's really, really pretty. So I like those. Um, yeah, I think. I think that's it for the eyeliners and stuff. And, um, you know, they're, they're pretty... Oh, pretty good. They don't stay on. They do stay on. Right, so the rest is, yeah, like I said, lip products. I went a bit mad. I have got tons of the um, Primark lip crayons. I've had these for weeks and weeks and weeks, um, and I've been using them. And I went back and got uh, like backups of backups of backups because they're just amazing. So let me show you the ones that I've got. 
there you go. I've got like one, two, three, four of the pink, because I just love the pink. Um, two of the purple, two of the red, and three of the nude. So I'll show you the pink one first. This is the pink one, and it's the colour. I think it just says pink, to be honest. That's if it says a colour at all. Yes, pink, there you go. Um, this oh, is divine, absolutely divine. This is the one that's oh, there's one that's open. This is the one I've been using. And this is just the most gorgeous colour. So this is what it comes like. It's a sharpening one. They are oh, they're matte, but they're creamy, and they stay on for absolutely ages. So that's the pink. And I've got four of those. Probably go back and get some more. Um, this is the red now I, I really wish that they did a more true red but this is like the orangey red which is fine i don't mind um but this is uh this is just red so that's the red one and it is quite an orangey red but i don't mind so that's the orangey red i really wish that they did like a proper proper blue tone like blue red um so that's that one then I got three of the nude ones. And again, like I said, I'll probably go back and get some more because they're heavenly and divine and I love them. Uh, so that one there. So this is, yeah, this just says nude. Um, that's what that says there, nude. And it is a perfectly beautiful, pretty much anybody can wear it nude colour. My lips were better nude. So that's that one. And the last one is just the most vampy, gorgeous wine berry red. And this is called wine. So, that's that one. And that's what that colour looks like. And they're beautiful. They are beautiful. They're creamy. Like I said, they're creamy, but they're matte. And they don't dry lips out, and they're just heavenly. So that's those ones. Um, more from... That's a Primark one. Um, is there more Primark ones? Yeah, I've got two of those. I have got other. I have hauled other Primark ones in the past, but I've got two more of these sort of. Um, what's this one called? Doesn't say, does it? Let's have a look. No, doesn't say. This is just. Oh nine. I think this is the nudie one. This is the one that I've got on my lips now. And that looks like that. And this is the one I've got all over my lips. That's this one here. And that's the one I've got on. I love that, but I have got the red and I've got the pink and already, but I've hauled them before. Then I've got some lip liners from Essence because they are gorgeous too. And I went a bit mad on them as well. They're the Essence ones I've got. I think there's some dupes here, so hang on. Not dupes, but copies. So there's that one's are the same, those two are the same. <sighs> those two are the same. That one's a nudie coloured one, and that one's a nudie coloured one. Right, so I think I've got one, two, three, four, five different colours. So the first one I'm going to show you is the lightest nude. Let me just rub these primer ones off. Um, and then you'll get a better sort of evaluation of what they are. So this is the first one, and this is called Wish Me a Rose. This looks like this. Um, it's a very, very pale pink, but it's beautiful. So that's Wish Me a Rose. Then I have... Honeyberry, oh that's a really nice name, I like that, so Honeyberry is this one, and this is just obviously a darker sort of berry pink, that's Honeyberry, so I love that one, then we have Satin Mauve, or Mauve, which is this one, satin mauve beautiful sort of nude mauve colour 
then we have Cutie Pink. I love the names of these. This is Cutie Pink. So that one there is Cutie Pink. And I've got a couple of those. And then from last one from Essence we have Red Blush. And this is just the most gorgeous red. And there's red blush. So that's those. Wonderful. Then I also got um, a couple from Miss Beauty from Pound World. And these are both the same colour, but these are red. Uh, I don't know if it's... Oh, number one. Number two, Wildfire. So who got a name? So this is Wildfire. And these are ones in retractable, which is amazing for a pound. Um, so I'll put Wildfire across the top. And it's so creamy or across the bottom should I say so this is wildfire and that's this one from Miss Beauty in Pound World so I've got two of those did I get two or are they both the same colour yeah both two wildfire so that's those ones so that's all the lip liners and all the Primark um, crayons then we're going on to the proper sort of lipsticks and then I think I'm done on the makeup side. And it's only been 29 minutes, so there you go. Right, I picked up three of these lip lavas. One hasn't got a box because it's in the bag over there. Um, but I picked, and I don't know the colour, because once you take it out, you can't find the colour. Or oh, can we? Let's have a look. No. Oh, she's really stupid. They put the colour on the box, but not on the tube. So this one is a sort of nudie colour. This was the first one I picked up because it's the only one they had in. And it's like a brownie sort of nudie colour. Oh, it's really, really pretty. So that's that one. And I've worn that a couple of times. They don't really smell of anything, which is amazing. But then I picked up uh, this one, which is Firestorm. Like I said, I'm not going to know what it is after I've got rid of the box. That's why I don't want to get rid of the box. But this one is the most gorgeous red. And this is Firestorm. So I shall show you this one. It's actually like a raspberry red rather than a true red, which is really, really nice. Um, so that is that one. Absolutely beautiful. And then the purple. Oh, shockwave. I had to get this one. You know me and my purples. So this is Shockwave. It's beautiful. I love this colour. I am obsessed with this colour. Oh, it's just the most gorgeous lilac. Absolutely beautiful. So there's... Um, <sighs> Shockwave. So that's those. I am going to go back and get the rest, even though there's an orange one there that I don't really want, but I want the whole collection. So that's those three. Those are the um, lip lavas from I Heart Makeup. Then we go on to collection and they brought out like three gorgeous matte crayons. They have got the um, like lip butter crayons, which is, I love them. I've got most of them. But these are the Work the Colour Matte Lip Butters. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. So the first one I've got is the nudie colour. And this is... Mm, marshmallow pink and again these are the wind up ones so this is marshmallow pink and it's beautiful so that's that one I love the way that the uh, crayon absolutely represents what's in the thing this is orange and this one is called pumpkin pie I think yeah pumpkin pie so this is all ready for Christmas isn't it this is like a really true orange but it's beautiful. So that's pumpkin pie. And again, matches. Totally matches. And this one is... Cinnamon velvet? Cinnamon velvet or crimson velvet or something. Um, but that's the red one. And that's that one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that's those, which I love, 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 love. 
Um, nearly done, guys. Nearly done. Um, oh, I've got a lip coat thing from Miss Beauty as well, which is basically just the lip coat that you paint on top of your lips. So I'll pick one of them up. I've got one. Actually, I've got two, but I can't find the other one. Again, um, lipsticks from collection, and these are the deluxe ones. And this is beautiful colour. What's this one? Oh, for no, can't read it. But that's this colour here, and it's just really beautiful, subtle pink. But they're so nice and so creamy. So that's that one. And that's the collection one. It comes in packet like that. Then I picked up two matte ones from Revlon because at the moment Superdrug I've got Revlon for four ninety nine each, which is amazing because I love Revlon lipsticks and the matte ones are really, really nice and creamy. So the first one is Pink Pout and these are both mattes. So that's Pink Pout and it's just beautiful. Real nice subtle pink and it's matte. Very creamy as well, doesn't dry lips out at all. And then I got really red, which is also a matte, and it looks beautiful. Oh, I just love this colour. That's really red, pink pout, and whatever that one is from collection. Um, so I picked those up, four ninety nine dollars Superdrug, guys. Absolutely crazy. Um, so that's that one. And then the last ones I've got to show you are really exciting, and I've been waiting for these to come in forever. Um, and these are the... Um, creamy mattes from Maybelline we've actually finally got them in this country and I am missing one and it's really really annoying me I think I'm missing one anyway I can't remember well maybe I'm not um, so the first one I'm going to show you is nude embrace um, and they all come in this like really nice black sort of matte packaging and of course they're just Maybelline oh, I love it. Maybelline to me smells like play-doh I don't know why Oh, it does. It's just gorgeous. So this is um, Nude Embrace. And it is just the best nude ever. It's beautiful. I could quite... Uh -oh. Put it over the top of that. So that's Nude Embrace, and I absolutely love that. The next one I'm going to go for is the pink. And this one is Rose Brush. Again, it's just the most gorgeous matte pink. And they are really creamy. So that's Rose Rush. Beautiful. See, Rose Rush. There. Uh, then we have the brighter pink, which is called Magnetic Magenta. Oh, beautiful. Like that. Beautiful. That looks absolutely beautiful. Really gorgeous. And they really are creamy mattes. Then we have the red, which is Siren in Scarlet. Now, they had two reds, and I'm pretty sure I have the other one. Can I find it? No. It's like a more blue-toned, darker red. But this is the sort of true red. And it's gorgeous. So that's the um, Siren in Scarlet. Oh, Play-Doh. Beautiful. And the last one I have to show you is Divine Wine. Now, I really sh I really know I've got another one somewhere and I can't find it. And it's really irritating me. But this is Divine Wine. And this is just the most gorgeous dark, sort of vampy, berry toned red. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that is all the makeup that I have bought over the last seven weeks. It does seem like a massive amount. And it is, but it has been bought over more than a month. So, yeah. I have also got a skincare, hair care and other bits and bobs haul that will be coming up shortly. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I have been going mental. And if I find the other bits, um, I will insert them at the end of this video. But if not, then just be knowing that I have got a little bit more hiding around somewhere um, that I can't find. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, I love my stuff. Um, the only thing I didn't show you was the Aquasil from Makeup Revolution. And that's just this little sort of Aquasil stuff. That's like a primer. I haven't even tried this yet. I haven't even opened it. But it comes like that. And it's just an Aquasil sort of thing for your 
eyes. So that was the other thing that I bought. And that's it, guys. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you um, sort of had a good time watching it. And I haven't sort of influenced you too much. But um, if I have, then I'm really, really sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Um, please share, comment, subscribe, rate, whatever. Um, subscribe if you haven't already because all my new videos will be popping up in your inbox if you do. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. And it's so good to be back. I love you all guys. Thanks. Bye.